um, five P's. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. Say that five times, all right? Proper preparation prevents poor performance. Hi, Walter. Thanks for joining. So if you are employed, you have a job, or if you're self-employed, proper preparation prevents poor performance still applies to you. Because if you are at work and you're buying and eating out, even if you're spending $5 and you think you're getting by on a meal, if you're eating breakfast, lunch, and another meal before you go, get off of work three times, that's 15 to $20 a day. So $20 a day times five, not including the weekends, that's, um, that's 20, that's $100 a week. $100 a week is $400 a month. And those of you that say eating healthy is expensive, keep doing what you're doing. You do not want to do that. Hi, Anthony. Thanks for joining. Five Ps, Michelle. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. Thanks for posting that. Um, that's $400 a month, and that's just give or take a couple of couple of times that you're doing it. Thanks for joining, Leon. Um, so it's not expensive to eat healthy. You guys see all this food that you see a lot of bodybuilders do. You see all this food that people do. It is not expensive to eat healthy. It's expensive to eat the way you're eating because there are some things that come along with that. High blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, medication, doctor's visits, altering your family's life. <laughs> hey, Johnny, how you doing? Altering your family's life. So it's not expensive. It's not bland. It's not any of that. The first thing you got to do before we get into the proper preparation prevents poor performance, which is part of this, is you got to get your mindset right. When your mindset is right, and you guys have probably heard this a gazillion times. Hi, Eric. You've heard this a gazillion times, but the reason why it keeps being repeated because you're not implementing and executing what we're saying to do in order to get the goals and the, the desires, uh, uh, goals that you want. Right? Am I right? So, mindset. Mindset. If you don't get your mindset, it's going to be very difficult. It's going to be a challenging journey for you if you don't change your mind. You cannot be, I'll give you an example, someone that's a diabetic, for example, and I'm not an expert in this, but you cannot be a diabetic and think you can dumb down or water down what you've been eating and think that's healthy. Hey, Tawana, how you doing? You cannot do that. It's not, it's, you can do whatever you want to do. Let me take that back. You can do whatever you want to do, but don't expect the results that you say you want. Okay. Hey, Amy, how's it going? Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining. All right. I'm not doing any workouts today, <laughs> but I will be. So mindset, be mindful of what you're eating, mindful of how you're preparing your food, mindful of, of how you're shopping when you go shopping, just having your mind clear and having clarity of what you want. If you say you want to lose your stomach and you want to do this, you want to do that, obviously, you know, you can't spot train, but, you know, I digress on that. We'll talk about that later. Congratulations, Anthony. That's good. Stop eating junk food, bread, sweets, and that.